so today I'm gonna be filming a get ready with me kind of I guess I don't know <laughs> yeah my face is already on like my foundation and everything so if you want to see how I did this go refer back to my base and brow routine I'm gonna use my Anastasia artist palette I haven't used this very much like I haven't used some of the cooler colors I might use the yellow today I'll do like a yellow smoky eye that'd be interesting so yeah, I'm gonna do yellow smoky eyes today. <laughs> I'm gonna be using the color Fresh from the Anastasia Artist Palette as my like focus color, I guess. So since my face is already on, I'm gonna prime my eyelids because I didn't do that. I'm gonna use the Smashbox 24 Hours 24 Hour Photo Finish Shadow Primer. Usually I do one eye before I start or like before I film, but since I don't really know what I'm doing, I'm just gonna do them both. So I'm going to use my Tartlet palette, and I'm going to take the color Wanderer, which is just kind of a neutral light color. And I'm just going to put that as my transition color. Okay, there's some leftover orange on this brush, so we're going to have a little bit of orange in the crease, which yellow and orange go together, so whatevs. I'm not too heartbroken. So now I'm going to take a little bit of the fresh color and just kind of run that through my crease on the same brush just to kind of get the color introduced, I guess. We're just taking it as it goes. I'm just gonna do one eye first, like on camera, obviously. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a little bit of the orange you fancy color in the same, oh my God, focus, in the same artist palette. Just kind of put it in the outer corner. Ooh, I'm gonna do an orange and yellow halo eye. That sounds fun. So I'm just going to put some in the inner part of my eye too. I didn't mm, plan to do such a crazy eye, but that's because I didn't plan anything, honestly. This just kind of happened. I'm going to take this Wet n Wild large shadow brush and the color Buttery, which is just kind of like a creamy color right there. And I'm going to put that on my brow bone just to kind of blend the colors up here so that we don't have that harsh of a line. And I'm gonna put a little bit in my inner corner as well. I'm going to take my Sigma Wide Shader brush, this is the E59 brush, and I'm going to spray it with some MAC Fix Plus and put some of that same yellow fresh color on my, like in the little center, you know, halo part. And I'm really excited. Because I've like been wanting to use this yellow for a long time. And I'm really excited about this camera because it makes my like tutorials especially much more true to color. Um, because for some reason with my old camera, my lighting looked real janky. So this is a lot better and I'm feeling it because like I have some nice lights. I have some nice soft boxes. But for some reason, they just they didn't want to do their darn job. This is the Sigma Buff and Blend E39 brush. And I'm going to go back in with that orange you fancy color. This is actually very pretty. But I might want to do a little bit of a darker orange because this one's not super like vibrant um <laughs> this is the buxom eyeshadow and this is in the shade it crowd um okay this is so pretty i love it i'm just gonna do a i'm not gonna do a wing i'm just gonna do like a line Okay, so I finished both of my eyes and I already did my contour and everything in my base routine. You can go see it. And um, so for blush, I'm going to do something pretty warm since this whole look is really warm. This is really soft blush, but this is the e.l.f. 
Studio Blush in Can Candid Coral. Um, I'm going to use the Real Techniques Duo Fiber Contour Brush to apply this to kind of like the backs of my cheeks. That's where I usually put my blush because, I don't know, I feel like it just looks the best on me. I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in the shade Golden Lights. I'm going to apply it with my Sigma High Cheekbone Highlighter in F03. In F03. Okay, okay, I'm going to see if my... My camera is like picking up my highlight. That is so miraculous. I've really been liking highlighting like right above the arch of my brow. I don't know. I feel like it gives a nice little like change. I don't know. For my lip liner, I'm gonna use the Sephora Lip Liner to Go in the shade Nude Beige, which is just like a the same color as my lips basically. I really like these lip liners. So now for my actual lip color, I'm going to be using the Balm, the, the Balm Meet Matte Hues Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Committed. I have like a tiny little baby of it, so. I'm gonna use this Tarte Maracuja Divine Shine lip gloss in the shade Blissful. That is my face. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching, bye. I'm just gonna put it in the inner corner. I'm gonna use Tarte Doll Face. This is a little